Hello everyone. Welcome to Great Learning. Charts are often used to ease the understanding and embellish the way of presenting large quantities of data and the relationship between parts of data. Charts are the articulate and the beautiful way to read a raw data. Every business around the world requires the representation of data. It may be in the form of a sales figure, debt management or anything of this sort. So, today's video is all about excel graphs and charts. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, I want to request you to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss out any new updates or video releases from Great Learning. If you enjoy this video, show us some love and like this video. Knowledge increases by sharing, so make sure you share this video with your friends and colleagues. Make sure to comment on the video for any queries or suggestions and I will respond to your comments. Alright guys, so to talk to you about the agenda for today's video, first we'll be covering the introduction to graphs and charts in Excel where we'll be looking into the different charts that is provided in Microsoft Excel. Then we'll be diving into the live workbook to understand the implementation and the explanation of the following charts on Excel workbook that are pie charts, column charts, bar charts and column versus line chart. So now let's move on to the first agenda of today's video that is introduction to graphs and charts in Excel. As you can see the user has already clicked on the insert tab which opens up a ribbon of options. The rectangular box highlights the different chart options that are available in Microsoft Excel. So the first option that is provided is line and column charts Coming to the next one, it is line and area charts. The third one, it is pie charts or you can also say donut charts. And then we have this option that is used for combo charts. That is for example, line versus column chart, etc. Now, we have a separate section that is dealing with pivot chart and we have an exclusively different video for the same. So, now moving on to the next topic that is implementation and explanation of charts on Excel workbook. So for this to happen, we'll be directly moving into the live Excel workbook. So here, we'll be starting off with pie charts. As you can see on the screen, we have a small report of India's COVID vaccine data. And we have a table consisting of five states and each representing the number of vaccine doses that they have delivered to the people living in their respective states. So when you now visually analyze, we can get to know that Maharashtra has provided 3 crore 80 lakh vaccines to the people living in Maharashtra. Now, when we consider all the states in the country, this data is not that easy to visually analyze because there are a lot of numbers that is coming into play. So, in order to avoid that situation, we use pie charts or charts to analyze the situation of vaccine doses that is getting delivered in each state and which state is doing the best amongst them. So now let's get started with the analysis. So to begin with, we'll be selecting the table for analysis. Then we'll going to the insert option and go on, go on to select the pie chart options. So here you can see that we have three options that is 2D pie, 3D pie and donut options. So I personally prefer 3D pie. So I am going ahead with it. So there you go, we have a beautiful representation of the states and how well they are doing with their vaccine doses delivering to the people. So now you can see here the blue color is Maharashtra which is having the majority of vaccine that is getting delivered. Since uh, then we'll see check out Karnataka, Karnataka is the orange bit. Then we'll understand that Kerala is doing well and then comes Tamil Nadu and finally Andhra Pradesh. Now we can play around this uh, graph for example, just by double clicking, we can get the format chart area. Now we'll go to the series vaccine series option where we'll go to the format data series and then click on this option. Now we can see that we can tilt the angle of the entire graph. So if you want to show that which state is doing best and you want to keep that data first, you can rotate Maharashtra slice into the front. See? That's how it is done. Now, 
if you want to know if you want to get an exploded view of the chart we can go ahead with the pi explosion so as you can see the respective pieces are getting exploded now if you want to undo it just bring it back now if you want to just show the la the best performing state that is maharashtra just click on this and you can just drag it outside and there you go you can see that the only maharashtra's pi is getting pulled out from the rest of the pi now we have another modes of formatting the graph that is the options that we have on the right side of the chart here you can go ahead and click just hover around these and play around with these so you can see the different types of charts that has been provided in microsoft excel that is the different formats so i personally like this with the black background and also the data labels now for data labels you can also move to the plus option that is given if you want if you don't want the data labels to be shown on the chart you can just remove it and you can see that the pies are not affected with the names of the states so the names of states are given below but if you require the data labels that you want it to be on the pies for the easy visualization you can go ahead and click on the check box and you can see that the values of the respective states are on the chart so now that we have completed with pie charts let's move ahead with the column charts so as you can see on the screen there are two tables one consisting of the year wise sales unit of a product and another one consisting of the monthly sale in the year 2009 so now here we're going to analyze the monthly sales first where we'll understand which months the product sales was best now for to do that we'll first click on the range and then go to the insert option go to the column and click on 2d columns since you already used 3d column this time we'll take 2d column bar now from the analysis of this chart we can see that in the months of january september october and december the number of units of the products which went to sale are higher it may be because of the festive seasons of christmas diwali and the new year that people go out for shopping and buy the products so this reason the sales of the product has increased drastically now now let's understand the eoy sales so for to do that we'll go and click on the range of the table and then go to insert option go to column and hit the 2d bar now when you look at the bar there is some abnormality it's also taking the year as a subject and making a column out of it but we wanted the year to be in the horizontal axis but in the horizontal axis we have an ascending order of numbers from 1 to 12 that's because excel considers both of the columns as data because both of them are numbers but in this case one of them was numbers in the right side we had the numbers and the left side we had the months which were text so in order to change that we just have to click on the chart go to the select data options and here we have the legends entry series we are just have to uncheck this option here and go here and click edit and show them what is the range that we want to be shown in the horizontal axis now go ahead and click okay and the final okay and you can see that we have the eoy sales as beautiful as it is now from this chart we can analyze that the eoy sales has increased beautifully in from starting from 2001 to 2012 and this is a very positive sign for a company's growth now moving on to the next chart that is bar chart the same way we used column charts to be analysis we can use bar charts also for to do that we have just have to go and select the range now the normal way of doing it is by clicking the range going to the insert option and then clicking on the columns and bar option and you can see the 2d bar but there is also a shortcut the shortcut key for creating chart is alt f1 but here you can see it is a column chart so in order to change it into bar chart just have to right click on the chart and go to change chart type and hit bar and click okay there you go you have a beautiful chart in front of you which shows the monthly sales in the format of bar chart all right so now since we have seen 
both column chart and bar chart. Now let's go ahead and understand combo charts for with the example of column versus line chart. Now we have been provided with the data set that represents world's COVID data and we have five countries and with respect to their total cases and the total recovered people from COVID. Now to begin the analysis first we'll select the range then we'll go to insert option or we can use the shortcut key directly that is alt f1 that shows the column versus line chart now we'll go to the we'll right click the mouse button and go to change the chart type hit combo and select the first column we have different options for the combo charts first we'll select the clustered versus column line now we'll click ok and we get the column versus line chart there you go now here the column represents the total cases and the line represents the total recovered people from COVID. Now this chart clearly distinguishes the number of people that haven't been recovered. For example, let's take USA. The USA's COVID data, when we analyze, we can see that the total recovered people stays in between 2 lakh 80, it's hanging around uh, 2 crore 80 lakh people and the total number of cases that USA has found out is hanging around 3 crore 40 lakhs. So there are around 50 lakh people that needs to be recovered still now. So this is the beautiful way of representing and using column versus line chart and the application of combo charts. Now here we can see that both the column and the line chart are using one primary axis but if you want to create another primary axis for the line graph we could do that also. So for that to happen just double click on the chart go to the options here and go to series total recovered and go to the option here and click on secondary axis. So when you do that you can see that the line graph got its own secondary axis. Now the column chart refers to this as its primary axis and line chart uses this as its axis. So this way we can play around the layout of the charts and we can represent the data as beautiful as possible. With that we have come to the end of today's video. So today we discussed about pie charts, column charts, bar charts, combo charts that is column versus line chart and also we understood the importance of representing the raw data with the help of charts. So to all the viewers who is watching this video, I request you to go ahead and open a live Excel workbook, uh, enter a data set and then go ahead and represent the same using a chart. If you find any difficulties doing this, please go ahead and comment and I will be more than happy to respond to it. Thank you. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, I want to request you to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss out any new updates or video releases from Great Learning. If you enjoy this video, show us some love and like this video. Knowledge increases by sharing, so make sure you share this video with your friends and colleagues. Make sure to comment on the video for any queries or suggestions and I will respond to your comments.